Big mission getting in here. Uh, such shiny, beautiful day. New part of this little stream that I've never fished before. Pretty, I don't know, well, I don't know how accessible it is from either end either, but I've just dropped down. I'm up here, I just dropped down, I just navigated down, I just took a chance, came down a bit of a ridge line. You can see over here there's just vertical bluffs, so I was just really lucky that I came to a spot where you could actually climb down just by chance. And um, now I'm going to charge up the stream and see what I find. Awesome day. Got to be careful navigating through the bush like that when you're coming down. Just keep your eye on what's below you. It's just so hidden with the, um, the undergrowth and the scrub and that that you can, um, you can quite easily get into trouble. Cool, this looks promising. Beautiful little stream, each little pocket. Hopefully there's some good pools um, as well as we go. Some good holding water for the trout. But, Looking good. Let's get into it. And um, that acts like your indicator. If not, um, the attractor fly anyway for a lot of these fish. They're even they're looking up early in the season, uh, so they'll take the dry. And I've got a little size 14 pheasant tail bead gold bead head on them. Uh, just there, down off the dropper, off the dry. Yes. See that. <laughs> The dry. Oh. Just hooked up with an awesome fish. First cast covering the pocket, his big jaws came up and took the dry. That was awesome. Only problem is, um, I rigged up this morning, I didn't check my leader, and obviously I had a wind knot or something in it, and um, the fish busted me off within a few seconds. Took the nib. Oh, it's spinning around. That was the easiest needing job I've ever done. <laughs> that last fish was awesome, that was a killer fish. Sick. This is a um, pretty awesome looking pool here. Hopefully dry fly material, hopefully I can um, extract something out of here. And a great release. <laughs> and when I hooked that fish, um, two blue ducks came charging into the pool. Um, kind of crazy, really. And um, another blue duck came charging downstream at high speed. The rare birds, the feel, um, a real stronghold of them in here. I can hear more upstream actually, too. So, the rainbow right in the back of this pool here, feeding away. Okay, so I've put a different nymph on it's, um, it's got a little bit more weight to it, so it's going to get down. He's right on the bottom at the moment, so I don't know whether that's a factor in it, but um, he hasn't taken the fly, I've put a number of casts over him, so it's time to change. I think it's a brownie that's been very selective. Yep.
Well, maybe it just it was a matter of that fish actually seeing the fly. I might not have been able to see it. It, just, it took so long to take it. I thought he'd uh, had a go at it a few times. He might have and um, spat it out. That is a big fish, a big old jack. Got a few scars on him. Uh, it took a long time for that, um, that fish to take the fly, it just, I think just a matter of it seeing it. I think it might have taken it earlier, but um, and, um, yeah, I might have missed it on the strike, so um, that's possible. Cool fish. Fish right down in here, feeding away. Okay, this is going to be a bow and arrow cast to try and get the fly in where this fish is feeding. Right there. Probably only got one shot at this, and then God knows how I'm going to land this fish. Okay, got it. Got it, and I've got him. Woohoo! Important thing here is not to panic. <laughs> Hopefully he's not going to go out of his pool just yet. I can actually land him right here. It's awesome we had one chance at that fish and got him on the dry bow and arrow cast. Well, who would ever have thought we're going to come across something like this? Well, I've pretty much reached uh, the end of this mission, I would say. I've come to um, a very tight, extremely tight, uh, impassable gorge. There's no way I can wade up here. I'd have to climb out. Um, I could possibly climb out. Well, I'm sure I could climb out, but it'd be a massive mission. The only um, you know, the problem with that is that uh, you don't know what's up, up ahead there. It looks like it's gorge. Wow, it looks so close. Looks like it just keeps going. Yeah. So um, I think I'm going to turn around and head back out. I might be able to um, do a bit of fishing downstream at the point in which I, um, I got into the, the river. I'm sure there's these good pools down there to fish. There's a waterfall back there. I'm not sure whether fish can even get above it. I haven't found any fish and seen any fish in the pools above it, so I suspect that maybe they can't. Or if they are up here, there could be a really low, low population. Strong fish took off up straight up to the head of the pool and um, yeah, actually busted me off. Oh, he's hot. Scrappy little rainbow. <laughs> Got another nice little rainbow little jack, I think it was, uh, in the same pool again. So um, I'm going to move on now. But uh, that was pretty cool. But uh, the fish actually got off. Uh, I think I was a little bit slow on the strike, a little bit soft on the strike. Back and something like that. So when you start to put the pressure on the fish, um, the hook can pull out if it's not set for me. Got 
screen back back down there. Just crouch down so he doesn't see me. Come up, come up, come up, come up. That's it. Okay, I spotted a fish. It's right up under the riffle, under that green branch, hanging down the last of the green branches. So it's uh, it's going to be a bit difficult to get the fly in there. That was a good cast. Spotted a fish down in here just in this, this leaves in the shallow riffle. Oh, he's right in the middle now, just under those leaves coming down, right in the middle of the riffle. Got it? Yes! Oh, dry fly again! What a day! Good fish too. Oh. Fish up in here is coming down, he's coming down, he's just taking something off the surface. Wow. Surface. Try it. Uh, no, he's taking the nymph. <laughs> yes. Excellent condition. Beautiful markings. Big jack. If this is the last pool, it's a great way to end the day. Look at that. For a fish. <laughs> wow. That was awesome. Beautiful river, big fish, plenty of them. Awesome dry fly action. Can't really ask for much more than that, really. I got gorged out up there so I'm going to hightail it back out um, straight up. Um, hopefully I can get out uh, the same way I came in. I marked it pretty well by um, I just turn over fern leaves every now and then. That gives me a good marker so I know that I'm on track. Um, it's quite good to know that you're, um, you're on the right track um, when you're in the bush. I'll catch up with you next week for some more wild trout adventures. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Love to hear from you guys. And um, stay tuned catch up with you next time. Cheers, catch you later.